interview, friends of his came to us with a different story. These stories first came to light when Jesse's former co-host and alleged decade-long gay lover exposed him. I'm John. Ah, damn. You should look like Freddy Cougar. <laughs> Feet, god damn, boy. Why you don't cut your toenails, man? What kind of what kind of man? Jesus Christ! I use your chainsaw. If you need a chainsaw, for them <laughs> motherfuckers. Damn. <laughs> I thought I thought mine is cool. I just got some. I got albino chicken nugget toes, but <laughs> I got Freddy Cougar. Yeah, for real, man. They, they, they shit. They, they them OJ Simpson uh, knife toes. Uh, <laughs> god damn. Disgusting. <laughs> you better cut damn. them, boy. <laughs> Damn, let me see. I said, I'm John. Hold on. I'm John. Jesus Christ. When the last time you cut your toenails when you were six? What the fuck? I think I was like three. Damn. Damn I'm John. Look horrible, boy. You got. You got. I'm John. I'm John. <laughs> They're like alien feet. What the fuck? Hey. They're strong, <laughs> though. Yeah, yeah, I bet. That's their toenail. I'm talking.
What's up, y'all? What's going on? I'm going to get straight to the point and I'm about to roll out. Listen, do you know what a pillow biter is? I worked in the prison system. And I'm going to give you all some quick information on the down low men that's in there and is out of pocket that is like that. Be who you are. If you want in there gay, then exactly, you're going to be what? You're going to be gay. If you if you was tossing salads on the outside, nine times out of ten, you're going to have taste for a salad while you're in the jail. But you got these dudes that's supposed to be tough. You got these dudes that their mentality is while they're in jail, they can participate in homosexuality. Then when they come out, they want to act straight around their women. Well, hold up. Ladies, the signs are this. If your man did some jail time, five years or more, and he come home and all of a sudden he want to do anal, red flag, timeout flag on the play. Because if he wasn't doing anal before, you know what he was doing. He was doing an anal with somebody up in the jail. I've seen this stuff firsthand. I'm, I'm trying to block it out of my mind because some of the things I've seen was disgusting. I've seen another man toss another man solid. I've seen another man give another man head. I've seen situations where some of the men were art. That's in jail. We call that a Rosa. A Rosa is pretty much we. Even if, if it's consensual homosexual butt fucking, we have to report that because we we can't allow that. So meaning, let's say you you doing your rounds on on your cell and you on your block and let's say. You on cell block C A, whatever. This whatever. On your block, and let's say you on cell block C A, whatever. This whatever. And you walk past the cell, you see another man give another man some top, or you see another man going up in his anal cavity, the Hershey Highway, then you have to report that right from the rip, get back up, and you have to fill out a form, and it's called a Rosa. Then you have to report that right from the rip, get back up, and you have to fill out a form, and it's called a Rosa. And basically, you have to get like a brown paper bag, get all the belongings. You got to treat it as if it's the other person was art. You know what I mean? The, the art word. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And basically, you have to get like a brown paper bag, get all the belongings. You got to treat it as if it's the other person was art. You know what I mean? The, the art word. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So you have to treat it like that because you don't know whether or not he forced him to go up in his anal cavity. So you have to get all the evidence, put it inside the bag, separate the people, do incident reports, the whole nine yards. <laughs> But let me make this quick. I want to make this video under 10 minutes. So my experience of being in the jail system, of working in the jail system, I seen certain dudes I grew up with in North Philly. And some of them dudes that you would never think was that way, was that way. And I'm not saying everybody that go to jail is on that tip. Not That's not what I'm saying. If I had to do an honest percentage, I would say 35 to 40% of men that's doing a long bid participate in homosexual activity. Some of them... Their way of thinking is, oh, I'm, what goes on in jail stays in jail. Once they get out, they're back 
they're they back to being this tough guy, bang bang shoot him up gangster, but they pillow by they pillow by those bending over grabbing the ankles for another man. Or they try to justify it. Well, I wasn't getting penetrated, so I was in there letting the dudes do whatever. They try that's what they try to do, saying that they was letting other dudes give them top. So that makes them the man the man part of it. And they're not quote unquote gay. You're bisexual. Whatever you want to call it, it is what it is. So um it goes on on jail. People sell people for for, for commissary. People sell people for oodles and noodles, um, especially honey buns with the frosting on it. Um, you'll be surprised how many dudes that look like they killers. Some of them are actually killers. Them guys, they got them lifers or guys that's, that's been been in there for ten plus years. They're pretty much going up in butts. Not all of them. You got some stand up. Shout out to the stand up ones that was up in there that they wasn't with that. No matter how many years they got, they kept it G. They you know they do their stuff in private as far as whacking their mans or whatever. Cool, that's natural. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But it is something wrong. But if you're saying you're a straight man, you got a woman at home, a wife, or whatever the case may be, and you in there pointing dudes up in their anal cavity and then acting like you cool, knowing your fucking private smell like dookie. I'm, I'm just saying. So my experience of working in there and seeing different things, it's it's disgusting. You'll be surprised. I mean, the, the fact, I can see if you, you know you're going to have certain homosexuals in there, that's what they want to do. Cool. No problem. I don't want no smoke with them. But what I'm saying is, when you got these tough guys, dudes with long ass James Harden beards tossing salads, niggas, niggas got shit chips in their fucking beard. The shit is a true story. It's nasty. It's disgusting. I'm keeping it 100. And, and, and a lot of dudes that work in the jail, you know what I'm talking about. They, you know, they can co sign this shit. It's like, you'll be surprised, man. Some of these the toughest dudes bench pressing 300 pounds be bending over. We call them muscle punks, sweet and tender. Big old muscle punks. So you, you're like, you're like, damn, like, really? This is what you're doing? But then we'll be on the streets, on the corner, you know what I mean, keeping it real, done, what what up, done, what up, homie, what up, what up this, what up that? But you, but this is what you're doing. So, um, there's a lot of DL going on in the jail. And a lot, a lot of bisexual dudes, or dudes that they hide it from their woman. And it, cause I, I've seen certain visits, women come up with the kids. I'm looking like, damn, you was just tossing the dude solid in the shower room. A lot, a lot of bisexual dudes were dudes that they hide it from their woman. And because I've seen certain visits, women come up with the kids. I'm looking like, damn, you was just tossing the dude solid in the shower room. I caught you on the such, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here like, and you know, I can't say nothing, you know, but I'm sitting here like, damn, like I'm sitting here looking at the shorty and some of these women be nice too. And I'm looking at the shorty and I'm like, damn, she looked good in the motherfucker, but she don't even know her man was tossing the salad. And he's sitting here kissing her goodbye, hugging his, his daughter. And you toss another man's butt. Or letting them, you know what I'm saying? Like, where do they do that at? In jail. There's a lot of people doing it outside of jail, too, these DL dudes. But in jail, a lot of stuff goes on. Drug smuggling. Um, the R word. That does happen. Some guys get their stuff taken from them. Some guys get sold. It's a shame. It's, it's a bad culture. Don't do crimes, people. That's all I can tell you. Don't go to jail. It ain't worth it. Don't go to prison, rather. I'm talking about prison. Don't go to prison when you're in there with guys doing five years or more. Because nine times out of ten, they're going to be doing five in your butt. So, you know, now there's some guys in there that they're they going to fight for theirs, as you should. You should fight for your booty. You should fight for your manhood. No one should ever take your manhood. But don't go out here acting like you straight. When you in there messing with them boys, and then you come out acting like you tough guy, this, that, and other, like you held it down in jail. You held it down, all right. You held it down with your hands getting on your ankles.